online and on your smart speaker. Budget cool trucks have arrived. Refrigerated trucks and tippers for hire. Hit News Briefing. Hello, Emma Griffiths with your news briefing. A 12-year-old child has been rushed to hospital after an incident on a ride at Movie World on the Gold Coast. The boy received a serious laceration to his head while on the carousel ride this afternoon and was treated by a nurse. Senior Operations Supervisor William Horton says, fortunately, his injuries aren't life-threatening. People can die from head injuries, but he's extremely lucky. Um, but he's in the best care at the moment. We have the ambulance of, of you know, treating him as a high-priority case. All head injuries are significant injuries, so he's, uh, he's in the best care at the moment. He's since been taken to hospital, where he remains in a serious but stable condition. Parts of New South Wales are being warned to brace for more possible flooding across the state over the coming days. The Weather Bureau is warning severe weather will start building up along the central and southern coasts from tomorrow. Meteorologist Alyssa Skyfield says things will intensify as the week goes on. We're expecting to see between 50 to 150 millimetres of widespread rainfall in these same central and southern coastal areas of New South Wales. And then we'll continue to see rainfall on Friday where we have the potential for 50 to 150 millimetres of widespread rainfall. The pre-selection of several Liberal candidates in New South Wales will stand following an unsuccessful challenge in the Court of Appeal. A three-person panel comprised of the PM, New South Wales Premier and a former President of the Federal Liberal Party made the selections rather than rank and file members. Searching great value, style, choice. Put Suzuki in your search and rediscover the journey. See Suzuki QLD for details. Checking sport now, the Panthers are on a four-game winning streak with no losses yet this season. This week, they're up against the Bulldogs and Penrith fullback Dylan Edwards says he's not expecting an easy game, even though the Dogs have only had one win this season. I thought they have been playing well. Um... Obviously, the scoreline on the weekend probably doesn't reflect my opinion of the game. I had a couple of tries against the run of play, and physically, they really worked good early on. And then, yeah, Mostly sunny and 33 degrees for the rest of the day in Rockhampton. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and 32. And Gladstone, sunny and 31 degrees for the rest of the day. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and 31. And our listener app is your new home of local news. Download the app now to listen live or on demand. Right.